I think that uh, it's uh, truly the, the, the most important advance in neuro-oncology in the last two years, which means 2016 and 2017, is the, the, the new WHO classification of brain tumors. Uh, because uh, uh, the, the, the former um, classification was uh, yielded nine years ago. So, and uh, so the new classification has included all the new development, especially in terms of molecular markers, to predict the prognosis, as in some instances, the response to therapies. Uh, so, and, and the major advances are in the field of gliomas, because uh, now they have inserted a new level of diagnosis, the so-called, an integrated diagnosis now. So the first level, when you ha have, when the neuropathologist is facing with uh, the diagnosis of a, a tumor, of a glioma, is uh, the tumor type, which means, for instance, an astrocytoma or an oligodendoglioma. The second level is the conventional grade of malignancy, grade two, three, or four. And the new level is the molecular level. And the reason is that we discovered that uh, there is one major molecular factor which is of dramatic prognostic importance, which is the mutation of the gene of the isocitrated dehydrogenase, IDH1, 1 or 2. It's, that encompasses uh, the, 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 the gradient of malignancy. So for instance, when you have uh, grade 2 or grade 3, which are the intermediate grade of malignancy, the subdivision is not uh, so far between grade 2 and grade 3 as we thought in the past, but uh, combining the two grades, IDH1 mutated, yes or not. If the patient uh, uh, has a tumor with IDH1 mutated, by far a better prognosis, so the tumor is more indolent. Reversely, conversely, when the tumor has not the mutation, the so-called IDH1 white type, the prognosis is definitely poor. So grade two or three tumors without the mutation are similar to the grade four, which is a which has changed the, uh, both the design of future clinical trials and the conventional daily practice. Because, for instance, in a grade two tumor until now, after surgery, the standard of care was observation of MRI. Now, if you have the same patient but is IDH1 white type, you move to radiation and chemotherapy. You will not observe anymore. And I think this is the one of the major advances. The other advantage is, is the, the, we, we, we discovered among uh, glioblastomas, grade, grade 4 gliomas, that uh, patients with another type of mutation, MGMT methylation, uh, will respond better to treatment. So they have a, a better probability of a longer survival. I think it's, a, it's interesting. So the message is not really new drugs, compared, for instance, to the field of melanoma, or no small cell lung cancer, but the refinement of the of the, of the diagnosis is clearly defined. <coughs> clearly defined different groups of tumor with different responses to, I must say, traditional treatments. Mm -hmm.